yeah, people think quality improvement's magic or, or, or arcane. Um, I mean, I'm a pediatrician and I'm a father and I'm a grandfather, so I'll make it simple. It's, it's, it's just like kids. You, every child is an improver. Watch them. You know, they'll put the Legos together and they'll take it apart and build something even bigger. They try and they experiment. They, 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 they don't, can't ride a bike yet. They get on the bike and they figure it out. They fall down, they get up, they ask some questions, they fall down again, they get up, and finally they're racing down the hill. Now take that native property, that learning, but now bring it into a complex organization, a hospital, an intensive care unit, an A&E, or bring it to a community which has too much diabetes. Well, you can see it's not, it's, it's not quite so easy to do it because we're interdependent, we have to do it together, we have to decide to do it, we have to have resources to do it. So it gets harder in complex systems, but it's still possible. Here's the way to think about it. All improvement is change. Because if you keep doing it the same way, you're going to get the same results. So all improvements change. The proper kind of change is the change of learning. So learning, improvement, change, they're all one central concept. That's the big mystery, that's the big secret. Once the leadership gets the idea, though, that we can't have success without learning, can't have learning without methods, uh, things can change. And that's just what I see happening here. Any uh, organization, any leader that says we really want to be the best we can be, they need to attend to goals, better care for individuals, better health for populations, lower cost by reducing waste, but they better attend to joy in the workforce. How could you possibly get compassionate, uh, attentive, uh, ambitious, caring for people who are ill or might become ill or their families or their communities, how could you get that from a workforce that isn't, that isn't joyful, that isn't proud of their work, that isn't um, confident? It can't happen. The nice thing about healthcare, of course, is it's, it's really cheap. What's going on here is pretty, pretty bold, pretty ambitious and wonderful, which is why don't we increase the capability throughout the system, top to bottom, end to end, to use scientific improvement methods every day to add joy to work and better care for people. The National Health Service in England uh, was and remains a beacon for the world. So it does work. It's the next uh, great chapter in a story that uh, is already legend.